Hello there, I'm Prophet and you're watching a Space Engineers video tutorial. So, what I'm gonna show you today now uh, is the suspension and steering system of this little fella. This is the Base Runner. I posted it a couple of weeks earlier on the Steam Workshop. And the special thing about this is that it's not using the um, developer created suspension system in a single block. It uses a custom built thing. Um, that I did by using rotors and steering pieces. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it can turn with the A and D keys. It's really stable and it's fantastic for using it on large spaces like this one. It has massive ground clearance, much unlike the normal suspension system. And with some proper settings, it's also more reliable. I really like it. And today I'm gonna show you how to assemble this steering system. What we got here is pretty much the entire mechanic inside those um, armor and chassis and what's covered under all this yellow stuff. I've colored this in different colors just to make visible what's going on inside. So we've got this um, steering piece over here, which is just a regular thing that you usually see attached to wheels. And now we got this red thing, which is a rotor head from a basic rotor and some catwalks and yeah. Then we have this blue thing. That blue thing is kind of special because it has two rotors attached, one on each side, and it simply stabilizes the entire thing. If you don't have this, the red thing would simply spin out of control because um, the handbrake of the steering part isn't strong enough to hold it in place and you need something to block this movement. And the blue thing does exactly this. You also have the green um, this green piece is pretty much just the um, suspension. The wheel would be attached to the bottom rotor and the entire thing would propel forwards. If it, um, say, drives up on a slope, um, this thing would fold together and the green piece of this entire thing uh, would go upwards. While that happens, the damping kicks in, which is basically just the rotor, uh, rotor damping force. And it works like a usual steering, actually, or like suspension of this steering piece. So what we're going to do next is uh, assemble this entire thing. I'm going to show you this step-by-step uh, step and we'll tell you what to take care of and yeah, pretty much that. Let's start off with the wheel suspension. Uh, I'm going to place this this way because um, this piston-like uh, thing on top of this um, has to show upwards because otherwise you will be uh, confused with some rotor settings as they won't work as you would expect them to. Make sure the wheel spawns because if it doesn't you can't attach the rotor head. Now we can simply delete it by right clicking. Now we need a rotor. This is the rotor. We are gonna delete the basic part of this which is that. What we have now is the rotor head. We're gonna press Control X to delete and control V to spawn it again. Now let's float slowly towards this steering piece and release it. It catches the inertia and it will dock as soon as it gets close. Like this. Okay, now it's perfectly attached. Um, you should not use the part from the catalog. It's um, this one. Do not use it because um, it will cause all kinds of bugs and other stuff that you really don't want. Use the rotor head from the part. Okay, let's get going. Um, you might notice that this won't move currently. And that is because we are in zero gravity and no force acts upon this rotor. If I would propel this forward, uh, it would work, but I also have installed a mod called Enhanced Gravity. This is not required for this entire thing to work, it's just for you to show uh, what I mean. Um, yeah, we have this thing, it will create a natural gravity field because it's a mod generator. It does not work with the usual ge gravity generator and if I turn this on, you see that it will fall down and what I do next is steering this thing and magic, it works. Okay, let's turn this off again. Now we got the suspension. This is a steering piece. I'm gonna tweak it real quick and explain why. 
Um, I'm gonna set this to low because it will um, move the steering back into places every time you um, stop pressing A or D. I don't like this. It's pretty messy in heavy terrain and it's just a personal feeling actually. Propulsion, we don't need that. We don't want this propelled by this part. Power doesn't need it either. Let's turn it off. Same as friction. Dampening isn't needed as well because we are gonna pull the strength all the way up. And press this to zero so it gets nice and easy and steady in place. We do this because we want um, the entire thing to be fixed. We don't want this to wobble around. And we're also gonna tweak this to zero. Okay, next thing. We are gonna assemble this red stuff. We do this by using catwalks. I'm using catwalks because um, by using the offset settings of, the, uh, of this rotor, we can build something up on here. And this wouldn't work with normal armor blocks, obviously, because they don't fit in here. And you can make this thing a lot more compact if you do it like this. And you really want this thing to be compact because, uh, trust me, this is already pretty hard to incorporate in such a chassis. I mean, it takes tons of space over here. And this is really the most compact version of it that I came up with so far. Okay, let's keep going. We have this, and let's do it four times. I'm also going to place some over here to make it more resistant, because otherwise things will crack up as soon as one of those two is missing. And we can at least make it slightly more resistant to damage. Next thing, I'm going to use this. This is mostly for the looks. And we're going to do some rotors over here. One over here. This one will be the one attached to the green stuff, um, yeah, to the suspension. And I'm going to tell you how to tweak this later. Now we're going to assemble this blue thing. And to do that we would need to place a rotor over here, which is obviously not possible because we have nothing to attach to. But you can't use a normal armor block over here because it would collide with the rotor head. Instead we are using a heavy armor slope. Okay, see it? If you use a normal rotor block it would collide. You do not want that, so use the armored slope. Next thing, we're going to use catwalks. Again, just to make it more compact. I'm gonna do two of those here. One over here. We want those to be attached. To do that, we need to merge them with merge blocks. To do that, I'm gonna do some nice little tricks. Uh, I found this to be the most convenient way. It's a proven winner and... Yeah. This is hard enough and... I've experimented with a couple of ways of doing this. Is and this is just the most convenient and most practical way. Okay. Mm. Let's do it like this here. And now we need merge blocks. One merge block and the other one. This thing will rotate all the way around and attach to this one if everything goes according to plan. Now we need those because I'm doing this manually with gyroscopes. Okay. A couple of things we have to tweak before starting this. We have to tweak the rotors because they won't work unless you turn them off. We are also gonna increase the braking power so they don't flap around like crazy because I don't like that and things get really messy if I do that. Um Okay, we also do change the rotor displacement for you know, for this reason, because um, if you don't do it, they will snap off as soon as you merge it. Um, for some reason that I don't really get, um, it makes it a lot more stable if you uh, set it to minimal or maximal. If you keep it in the middle, again, things will break, and you do not want that. Okay, now let's go. I'm going to turn this around real slow things get closer and they should automatically attach like this nice okay I'm not gonna lie to you this is pretty much the hardest part sometimes it works flawlessly and sometimes things get messy just save before you do this and things will be all right okay now before you aimlessly start to delete blocks over here make sure you have it connected properly. I'm gonna do it like this. 
No, I'm gonna do this one and things stay in place. You really need those two blocks, so be careful. Okay, next thing, push this one. And now be careful not to delete the wrong blocks because otherwise you have to start all over again and I do not want that today. Let's delete this stuff and there we go. Everything's nice and assembled. Okay, pretty much the uh, only thing we have to do now is set... Well, okay, I'm gonna turn off the... Oh, I'll turn on the gravity again and now you can see everything works just as the other part. Okay. Oh, well, actually we can just keep going. Okay, what we want now is road or this one. Uh, let's set the torque to something like nine point. This, um, it's pretty much the setting that I use for the front wheels of the base runner. Um, this value highly depends on how heavy your vehicle is, and you want it to be obviously higher if the vehicle is a lot heavier. And this represents pretty much the strength of the um, vanilla steering part. And this is the equivalent of the um, dampening from the usual steering part. And we want this to be rather high. Something like, I don't know. Nope, higher. I'm just gonna go with that for now. It's somewhere in this range if you go in for uh, a mobile base or something. You have to tweak it a couple of times and this is like fine tuning. You're gonna do this maybe for half an hour, maybe longer. Depends on how fast you are with this. Velocity obviously to zero. Lower limit, higher limit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much um, guesswork today. It's at uh, zero. It's the most, well, the easiest way to do this. Um, well, okay. Before we do this, I've also got to tweak the offset um, displacement. We want this to be high because otherwise it will collide into the uh, catwalks. Okay. Now that this thing is set up, we're just gonna attach armor blocks. And this. Okay. Just to give you an idea how to how this works. I'm not gonna do the full thing now. Just to give you an idea of how to do this most efficiently. We have this, and now you want it to go for like something. I don't know. Let's go with zero over here. And velocity is something like one. And now you see it's going that way. It's nice. Rotor. Rotor. Reverse. Okay, we want the upper limit obviously to be something about I don't know, 75 maybe. Okay, reverse. You don't want this lower value to be too low because otherwise things will again get messy because um, it can't, uh, the suspension won't work if you are trying to um, push the rotor inwards. It has to have some angle. I'm usually going with something like 20 or so. Okay, now we see this is the entire suspension. Okay, and also you see the gravity generator is now off. And due to the pistons being attached now, this entire thing uh, has an, an permanent force acted upon the rotor head, which is attached to the steering piece. So now you can also use this in zero gravity. It's kind of weird, it got me confused a couple of times, but I figured out why this is. Okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, what I can show you now is uh, how to well, tweak the um, different axes for a big vehicle. This is only really important if you go in for crazy um, all-terrain kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna just lift this entire thing up. These are just the pistons on the bottom side of the um, base runner. And also uh, I'm gonna turn this on first so you see what I mean. Okay, this gets messy. Anyway, uh, I don't really need those pistons anyway. What I want to show you is, um, okay, 
to make this clear, those rotors would break perfectly fine on um, the usual terrain. They just don't do well with uh, heavy blocks. Okay, what I wanted to show you is that they have different angles. Um, the middle ones go up a lot further, obviously, um, because you want to cross like hills. If you drive up on a hill um, and don't have this, the middle wheels would have like crazy huge um, impact. If this is like the top of a hill, and you drive up on it, and um, those need to have more space to go inward because otherwise um, the entire craft would uh, weight onto those two wheels and they would certainly break in vanilla. If you use my mod they probably won't but still. You do, you do want to do this. Also you have to do different um, dampening and, uh, and, and oh, what do you call it, torque values for these suspension rotors. Uh, that's why because uh, if this thing drives down a hill, you want um, the front wheels to go fast as fast as possible because um, that will give you some space um, when they get pushed backwards and you want them to be at a very low angle because otherwise they will break and can't absorb enough shock. So you want those to have a high torque value and not those because um, in certain other situations they will go so fast that they will crash into a hill and will destroy those. You can look up the uh, tweaked values. Um, if you go for something that approaches them somewhat, um, you will do fine, I guess. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to tell about this stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a comment if I missed something. And so far, have fun. Try this out. It works for all kinds and sizes of vehicles. You can do small ones, you can do even bigger ones, I guess. You could probably do the uh, carrier from the Homeworld games, uh, <laughs> which is pretty insane, but yeah, sure, go for it if your computer can handle this. Anyway, I'm Prophet, you watched this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you all!